So what we're trying to do is get from this point where we simply hide the dictionary list to something that at least it's the dictionary get list gets hidden when the document loads but when you click on the H2 that's in there uh, it's going to expand and show this dictionary list so how exactly we're we going to do that well let's think about what what we know how to do so far we know that well we know how to hide something and we also know how to show something it's just the opposite so the question is now but now we have to get the, that show functionality happening at a specific at a specific time and that's when when the click click happens like a little the event you know that when the click event happens you need to to show this so well what do we do my first instinct would be to google it right i mean there's actually what what i know is that there's a click event but now what i want to know is exactly how i need to uh, you know i need the syntax of that click event and i don't want to have to sit there and you know type it out myself I kinda wanna copy and paste so I'm gonna go ahead and Google what I googled is jQuery click function examples that sounds pretty straightforward right and I got these results kinda looking through some of them and there's one called working with events at uh, learningjquery.com and if you kinda start scrolling the very first example that it gives is you know dot when the document is ready uh, target the button dot alert so it's the whatever and then click ah here's the click thing and now well it seems like this is sort of new to us right because we've done so far okay we know the very first part this is the the we're waiting until the document is ready to execute some jQuery code we have. So this we actually already have in our document anyway, so we don't need this from the example. We understand what this line means so far. I mean, we won't exactly worry about what what's after click right now, but we know that what it wants to do is when the button whose class is alert is clicked on it's going to do something else and it's going to do another function actually so if you consider okay if you consider how these things are nested inside of each other just look our our whole once the document is ready it's ready to execute this function and now nested inside of this click event is another function it wants to execute all right this this is we're already getting deep over here but we're cool we're cool so here's what we know we know that this is the greeting and this is the ending since we already have this in our document we don't even need to mess with it so all we need to take is we'll copy this part of the code and now I'm gonna bring it into my script okay Ooh, ooh, what happened here? Okay, that's all right. I got some syntax errors because it brought over some garbage from the web. Because obviously these these uh, hashes or pounds, they don't they're not going to do anything for us. Okay, got rid of it all. That works for me. So what is this going to do in our code? Well, it's going to do nothing, right? Because we don't have this specific tag but what we do have is an h2 in there so why don't we just change this to an h2 and at the very least th we don't want this functionality we want something you know we want the hot the show functionality but let's just test that this this piece of code right here works so far so when i go and refresh this that means that when i click here dude look at that it works all right, so so we got something now. That was you know we found an example online. We brought it into our own code. We didn't fully commit to you know getting it all specific to what we need before we actually tested that it worked. But now let's actually do what we want it to do. And what do we want this thing to do? 
Well, see how we hid the DL here? I'm going to copy this and and just look at the syntax. So here, here we go. We'll add some spaces over here. We know that this part of the that this top part and this bottom part are all part of this click function, but this is the only thing that we need to change, right? And if we paste that code that we have that's working up here, and what do we want to do? We want to show, right? Because that's what we've actually tried this code and we know it works. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh it now. Ha oh, ha, you see that? Happened quick, happened real quick. And I just clicked it and it works and I refresh it. Click it, but when I double click it, it doesn't really do anything. So, well, that's kind of not exactly what we want, right? We want we wanted to do something closer to this. Now, what is that? That's kind of cool. Well, let me show you what it's not. Just another quick uh, quick thing we could do a uh, a function called fade in that's kind of cool let's see what that does and we could play around with this save it ooh it has a cool little fade in effect and I think in fade in you could put when you actually look into fade in and some of the parameters that it has you could put inside of fade in some some stuff let's let's see what that looks like Oh, ooh, ah, more zeros, and real, okay, we may be here until tomorrow while this thing loads up. Actually, why, why don't we just, while this thing loads up very, very slowly, you could probably look up fade in jQuery options, let's see. And then fade in will actually, if you Google it and look, you could see some of the other options that it has over there but we're not totally at oh look at that fade in yeah you fade in there's even more stuff within fade in you could do as well so it's always worth when you see a function that you like and it's not doing exactly what you want it to do you see how uh, you, you should investigate and see how you could actually tailor it to what you want but so far if nothing else we have we have we're one step closer to where we want to go we have the hide event that happens when we load the page and now we we have at least an event handler we know that when we click on it we could make other stuff happen inside of it so we're definitely one step closer now we just gotta figure out how to get it to to do this kind of function to where when you click it once it expands and when you click it again it collapses. How's that going to happen?